Sunday off Easter, Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday. The UNW of Ottertail resumed their meeting this Wednesday, April 12th at 1 p.m. All women are welcome. <coughs> uh, the church council is postponed until next Sunday after worship. Uh, next Sunday, we will also have new members joining our church and uh, worship service. All our other activities are going in the bulletin as, I know, as normal. Please stand as you are able in our responsive call to worship. Sisters and brothers in Christ, the tomb is empty. Jesus, Jesus is alive. alive. Christ is risen. Death could not hold him. Alleluia. Praise the risen Lord. In Mark 302, first through fourth stanza, Christ the Lord is risen today. <laughs>
of sin by your life-giving Spirit. Through the same Jesus Christ, O Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee, and the same Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Please join me for the collect. Almighty God, God, who has brought from the dead our Lord Jesus, the glorious Prince of Peace, grant us power, we beseech you, to rise with him to the newness of life, that we may overcome the world with the wisdom of age, and have a heart at last for the resurrection of Jesus. Amen. Let us pray the, Lord, the prayer the Lord taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. O Lord, open all lips. And our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Thank you. 
is taken from the book of Acts, chapter 10, verse 34 through 43. <coughs> then Peter began to speak. I now realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism, but accept from every nation the one who fears him and does what is right. You know the message God sent to the people of Israel, announcing the good news of peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. You know what happened throughout the providence of <coughs> Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power, and how he went around doing good <coughs> and healing all who were under the power of the devil, because God was with him. We are witnesses of everything he did in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They killed him by hanging him on the cross. But God raised him from the dead on the third day and caused him to be seen. He was not seen by all the people, but by the witnesses whom God had already chosen by us who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one whom God appointed as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him, that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sin through his name. Please join me as we read Psalm 118, verse 14 through 24. The Lord is my strength and my power. The Lord has become my salvation. There are joyous songs of victory in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord has chastened me sorely, but has not given me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone which the builders rejected has become your cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Our epistle this morning is taken from Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 through 4. Since then, you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things, for you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. In number 303.
gospel reading this morning is taken from John chapter 20, verse 1 through 18. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. So she came running back to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved, and said, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter and the other disciples started for the tomb. Both were running, but the other disciples outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over and looked in at the strips of linen laying there, but did not go in. Then Simon Peter came behind him and went straight into the tomb. He saw the strips of linen lying there, as well as the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' head. The cloth was still lying in its place, separate from the linen. Finally, the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went inside. He saw and believed. They still did not understand from Scripture that Jesus had to rise from the dead. Then the disciples came back to where they were staying. Now Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she, she said, and I don't know where they are put him. At this she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. He asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking it was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned towards him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and to your Father. To my God and to your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news. I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let us boldly affirm our faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. And in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
Anyone else? Mm -hmm. I'd like to pray for, pray for our near neighbor's grandson. He's got cancer. He's uh, 10 years old. He's got uh, a second thought of chemo going. Here he's got quite a fight ahead of him. Anyone else? Let us go to the Lord in prayer, followed by silent prayer, a personal confession in this in, in the session. Let us pray. Loving God, on this day where we as Christians celebrate and remember the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for your love that you demonstrated all week long. We have remembered and walked the road remembering what Jesus did from entering the city on a donkey to instituting the Lord's Supper, washing his disciples' feet, being in the garden, and dying on the cross. But today, O oh Lord, we also are mindful that we are celebrating the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And because he has been resurrected, we too will one day be resurrected and see you face to face. Father, we ask that you continue to be with us as a church. We pray that you be with the church in Bulgaria, Romania, and Hungary. Bless the churches in these nations. And Lord, we give you thanks for the doctors and nurses and for sight. We ask that you continue to bless those who have been blessed by these doctors. We pray for Rosalie as she goes next week to for her eye surgery. Lord, we are all mindful of how precious sight is. We ask that you bless and continue to bless. Lord, we pray for this 10-year-old who has cancer. We ask for your blessing upon him. And Lord, now we pause for a moment of silent, personal intercession and confession. Yours, O oh Lord, is the greatest, the power, the glory, the victory, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. Let us bring our offerings, our gifts to the Lord.
seated. Resurrection Sunday. We just sang the word, he what? Arose. Arose. It's a very interesting story. And from the perspective of the gospel we read today, we see Mary, Magdalene, and the other Marys, they went to the tomb early. On the first day of the week, so Sunday morning, they went while it was still dark, just before the sunrise. And in some traditions, we have what? Sunrise services. I can tell you good luck with having that with me. <laughs> they tried that while I was a chaplain, and I told them, you know, that bed really wants to keep me nice and comfy. A couple of the other chaplains did it a few times, and the inmates loved it. They got out before normal time to get released from their dorms. But good luck, like I said, we're not doing Easter sunrise services. <laughs> but early in the morning, Mary, and did you notice it was the woman that went? Wasn't the man? Same thing happens in my house. Who gets up first? <laughs> Never me. Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and noticed that the stone had been removed. And she ran back and told the other disciples. And the story is from John's perspective, and John does not name himself, but he said, Then Simon Peter and the other disciples, the one Jesus loved. Re referring to who? To John. He's the one writing this gospel. And he points out he's the disciple that Jesus loved. I guess when you're the author of a book, you can do that. <laughs> Point out that you're the special one. And it's the interesting part to, to, that I like about this Easter Sunday. <laughs> so they ran to the tomb. And John wanted the whole world to know that ja John outran what? Peter. He, listen to what he said. So Simon Peter and the other disciples ran to the tomb. But the other disciple outran Peter and got there what? First. But he did not go in. He looked and did not go in. John being John after he saw the linen and everything, said he saw and believed. And then he had to put a little parenthesis. Because the reality is he saw and he did not understand what happened. And listen to their parenthesis. He said, they still did not understand from Scripture that Jesus had to be raised from the dead. So even in his writings, he pointed out that he did not fully understand what resurrection was all about. And I have to say, I do not understand everything about resurrection. But I still what? Believe. Isn't that what Easter is all about? Christ is risen. Do we understand? As a matter of fact, from science, we know that once a person is dead, they are dead, and that, that's it. But we believe in the resurrection. We see that Simon Peter and the other disciples did not hang around, you know, and with the risen. They went back to where they were. It was Mary who stood around for a little while and then looked in and saw the two angels and then the interesting question. Woman, why are you crying? I mean, the angel asked it, and but it was really who, who was asking that question? Jesus. She turned around and thought that it was the gardener and said, you know, sir, they have taken away all oh Lord. Tell me where he is so that I can go and get his what? Body. She still 
still did not understand that Jesus had a role. It wasn't until finally that Jesus said, Mary, that she recognized him. And I don't know about you, but to see somebody who was dead is now alive is a miracle. And Mary and the other disciples had witnesses just earlier in that week another resurrection. You remember the story? Lazarus, we preached about it a few weeks ago. He was in the tomb for four days. Jesus was in the tomb for three days. And so she, she knew that resurrection was a possibility, for she had seen it before with Lazarus. And now here was Jesus standing in front of her. And she cried out in Aaron, Rabboni. And Jesus had to tell her, don't hold on to me. I haven't ascended to my father. But I especially like this part, and your father, to my God and to your God. You see, what Jesus is communicating to Mary and to us is that God loves us. He is our father. Isn't that what we pray? Our father. Our God. And that one day we too will be with him. That's what we see in the book of Acts and in Colossians. <clears throat> First Peter. And I want for you for us to read the words again. It says, Then Peter began to speak. And he says, I now realize how true it is. It finally dawned on him. He finally understood. Because, see, there are times all we have is faith, we believe, but until we get true understanding, we have to rely on what? Faith. You see, John pointed out, we believe, but we did not understand. But after the resurrection, during the time of the book of Acts, Peter, the, the light went on, so to speak, and he not only believed, but he what? Understood, he realized and he recounted the entire story about Jesus starting with John the Baptist and being baptized and how they killed him. But verse 40 says, But God raised him from the dead on the third day and caused him to be seen. In other words, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ it's not a myth, it's not a story, it's not something that is make-believe, that we believe just because. Here we have testimony. Peter goes on and said, he was not seen by all, but by witnesses whom God had already chosen, by us. And to make sure that we understand that Jesus was not a ghost or some, something else. He said, by us who ate and drank with him, with him after he rose from the dead. The resurrection. Here we have witnesses from John, from Peter, and now from Paul in Colossians. It says, since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts and things above. Today, as Christians throughout the world, we are celebrating the resurrection of our Lord. But we are also anticipating our resurrection. That's what Paul says, since you have been raised with Christ, set your hearts for things of love. And so today, as Christians, as we celebrate and remember the resurrection of our Lord, we also set our hearts on things above to follow Him and do His will. The word of our Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand and sing our closing hymn together, hymn number 310.
Oh, 